Hi there, I'm Nick Boval, Technical and Training Manager at CYP, and today we're going to look at 15 great tips in regards to troubleshooting when using our CYPXA products when a simple power cycle doesn't resolve the issue. Hi there, I'm Nick, Technical and Training Manager for CYP, and today we're looking at 15 great tips in regards to troubleshooting using CYPXA products. Make sure that all firmware in regards to HDMI distribution, source and sync are 100% up to date. You might find that one of your devices doesn't support such protocols such as HDMI 2.0, HDR and or HDCP 2.2 until you do. Use the pattern generator functionality of say the XA4 or XA2 and input the highest possible resolution that your system supports and then analyze from another XA4 in analyzer mode at the receiver side. Make sure that you're bypassing the output resolution and that you've copied the EDID information of the panel. Otherwise, you may find it difficult to replicate the error. Now gradually reduce the output resolution and timing of the XA4 in pattern generation mode. Your picture may now stabilise. Swap out and test the HDMI cabling using the XA4's Character Error Detection Data Counting tool and when necessary, run a fly cat cable when using HD base T and or IP technologies over HDMI devices to try and resolve an easy issue or highlight a larger error. Check your HDMI and cat cable links are in range of what's being advertised by your manufacturer and use appropriate extenders where possible. Cut out any visible cable ties, especially ones compromising the integrity of the cable by over compressing it, which has been the number one cause of picture intermittence for 2016. Reduce bundling and patch panels where possible because these three practices all induce electromagnetic interference within your CAT cable infrastructure. So make sure your cabling is conforming to HDMI and or HD base T directives. Change the HDMI output and or input of your HDMI splitter, distribution amp or matrices to see if the problem moves or not. If the problem doesn't move, you may be experiencing a hardware failure. Change out the receiver if you're using HD base T, HDMI over CAT or IP and see if the problem resolves. If you're experiencing a green screen, you might be experiencing HDCP issues. On the XA4 setup, toggle between no HDCP, HDCP 1.4 and HDCP 2.2 and see if you can replicate the issue. If your panel is behaving erratically when others in its place are working as expected, copy the EDID of the offending panel so you can do further testing in another location or send it to the manufacturer and change the EDID pattern on the XA4 on the analyzer side and see if the problem resolves to confirm an EDID error. If you're experiencing a pink overlay, the panel you're using may not support YUV color space. On the XA4, firstly change the color space output when working as an analyzer to RGB. If the XA4 is flashing in regards to the HDMI handshake, particularly the 5 volt indicator, and or simply having the XA4 in line in front of the panel stabilizes the fending issue, there might be a problem with your panel or source's HDMI port. If you suspect there is an inconsistency in regards to EDID, HDCP and or an HDMI input or output, and the XA4 identifies one or all these issues, try using the XAHDCP that provides EDID and HDCP management and also acts as an end sync before the panel which could economically stabilise your site's issues. 
If you're suffering IP lockup in regards to a presentation switch or matrices, try removing any control system that may be causing the error and or one by one remove any internet enabled device that is on the same network that could be potentially flooding the system, causing devices to act erratically. If you have localised the issue and deemed to be suffering from a hardware or software failure, finally try and attempt a factory reset and if this still doesn't help, contact your distributor and organise an RMA for the offending device. Thanks for your time and if you require further information about any of the XA range products and how to use them, please feel free to call us on the number below or visit our website.